Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your yes trading mentor's free trading video for Tuesday, October 12, 2010. Today we had a total of five executable trade signals for a max potential of 22 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only. It is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups, give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan, daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning at 11.58.50, and you can see we were uh, trading down after the open. We came into uh, a little of a sideways chop and then ultimately got a signal to get short as we pulled back towards the uh, moving average line. That did work out for targets one and targets two to the downside for seven ticks as we moved down and found a little bit of support there at the Globex low just before 10 o'clock. You can see we bounced off that Globex low through our moving average actually got a signal to get long shortly after the 10 o'clock reversal time frame and that did produce targets one and targets two for seven ticks as we moved up towards the previous day's low kind of started trading sideways off the previous day's low there for a little bit ultimately broke through that level back through the opening price filled our half gap and made a push up towards the uh, the pivot you can see as we uh, came into the lunchtime dead zone uh, we, we came up shortly thereafter hit the pivot was redirected off of that pivot and pulled back. Now between 11.30 and 1.15, that's this red area you see on the chart. This is a time of no trading. And you can see there was a lot of back and forth during this time frame. And uh, it wasn't until after lunch was out at uh, 1.15 that we, like, we looked to take new positions. And you can see coming off of that pivot for the second time, came back to our open, pulled into a short. We were able to get our first contract off, ended up getting stopped out of that second contract after the, uh, the news announcement came out. Now, when the Fed does their announcement, we don't trade for 15 minutes after the Fed announcement. But today was the minutes, and the minutes came out, gave a nice move up to the 4 o'clock and um, 4.15 close was rejected off that level, came back in just to a beautiful signal, ended up getting uh, an, an entry there for targets one and targets two quickly for 12 ticks to the upside and the market continued up all the way in past the previous day's high, came off of those levels at the previous day's highs, back down to the, those closing levels, ultimately traded through the pivot, gave a signal to get short shortly after 2.30, and then that uh, signal to get short uh, ultimately first contract was off stopped out to the downside or stopped out as it moved to the upside for a t1 minus two so all in all pretty uh great day for us ended up with five trades for 22 es ticks i want to thank you for watching for more details on this plan including all the chart setups or to join our live trading room video newsletter please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen thanks and make it a great day mm -hmm.